Hi guys, gals and non-binary pals, welcome back to Budget with Ira. Today, we're checking in for week three of my budget. I get paid every four weeks, and my last payday was the 9th of April. So we are now looking at all my spends from the 23rd to the 29th of April. And if you remember from last week, I had actually spent all my grocery money, and I didn't have very much left over. So if you wanna know how I got on this week, please keep on watching. So first thing I like to do is I like to have a look at all of my bills and all of my debt that I've paid off. So because we're looking from the 23rd to the 29th, I should have paid off up to about here. So let's take a look. So pet insurance was supposed to come out on the 21st and it did and it was £15.9. Sky was supposed to come out on the 25th and it did and it was £25. Council tax came out on the 28th and it was dead on exactly what they said they were going to take. And the phone bill was, again, like clockwork, £55.19. And rent, of course, they took that. Okay, so that was basically where we were. Nothing else came out in terms of bills. All I've got left is a couple of little ones and all the big ones are already gone now, which is good. Let's move over to debt. So we can see on the 28th that loan did come out and it was £200.92. And that is all our debt paid for this month. And I can tell you that when we add all of this up, it comes to exactly £900. So we are bang on budget. So when we move over to our breakdown and our close of our budget, because I know that there's no more bill payments to be done, I can close down our debt at £900 dead on. And I was really, really pleased that we were able to actually stick to what me and my boyfriend agreed a couple of weeks ago, where we said 900 pounds without fail every single month to debt. So we were able to do that and we are not financially stretched because of it. So I'm quite pleased at, about that. Okay, so let's move along to our check-in. So my calculator is currently charging, so uh, we'll move on to the bottom three and then I'll pick up again with spending. So first one was petrol. When we look, petrol is this nice medium colour and we're looking at petrol spends between the 23rd and the 29th. And if I scan across, there were no petrol spends whatsoever. So we opened petrol with £20. We didn't add anything in. We didn't spend anything. So we should have 20 pounds. Here's my sinking funds with my janky little envelopes, which I love now. I am gonna make nice ones because I've got some good ideas now. But let's move over to the petrol one. And it's 20 pounds in there, which is good. So um, I will spend that this week in the last week of the pay period. Um, I'm not actually that low on petrol either. I think I've got a couple more commutes to work as well. So I might actually only put £10 in and use the £10 for something else. Or I might just chuck it in the car. I haven't decided yet. So groceries, we opened with two pence. And I said that I'd struggle to spend two pence. I didn't add anything in because there is nothing to add in. I do a zero based budget, so there is literally no, no other money anywhere to take. So there's nothing to add in unless I take it from petrol or somewhere else. And at this stage, I'm not really prepared to do that, especially when we have a bit of food in the house. If we have a look, uh, groceries is the light blue. So from the 23rd to the 29th, there are no light blue spends. So I actually spent nothing on groceries. And we weren't hard up, like it, it was absolutely fine. As I said, we got plenty of food in the house. It's absolutely fine. So do we have two pence left over? Here they are. I'm actually gonna try and spend it. I'm gonna find something for a penny. And then unbudgeted is a light gray color. We're looking from there here to here and there's nothing. So it's the third week in a row with zero unbudgeted. So I'm really, really pleased. Now, the danger of having unbudgeted is in the final week because as the funds start to run quite low, there is a danger of having unbudgeted. But as I said, there is no money anywhere. I don't have a buffer or anything like that. So 
I'd be in financial stress if I did do anything. So I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. Okay, so we opened with zero. We add nothing into that. We took nothing out and we're finishing on zero, which is fantastic. Okay, I got bored of waiting for the phone to charge. So I'm just gonna go ahead without it. Very, very normal for me to have a very, very small spend every single day because I tend to buy lunch at work. And that's what I like to spend my money on at the moment. So um, we've had lunch nearly every day. Um, there are only two spends that weren't lunch. So on the Sunday, I um, spent £7.88 on dinner. So normally that would come from the groceries category, but if you remember from what I said last week, because there is no groceries, the money's gotta come from somewhere if we wanna do something nice. So um, me and my boyfriend were both prepared to purchase that. So I bought enough for a nice roast dinner. And then on the Tuesday, I was in town and I bought some backdrops, some nice colored paper. So really, really, really like doing that. So it's just something fun for me. So I did spend a fair bit, we opened with our rollover of £40.56. We added nothing in because there is nothing to add in. And I spent £32.10. Which leaves five, six, seven, eight, forty, six. So it's not a horrendous amount of money, but I'm certainly not in the poor house. Let's add all of these up. So this one's an easy one, that's zero. This one is 3210, because that was our only spend last week. I definitely need a calculator for this. Okay, so I've stolen my boyfriend's phone. So 8.46 plus 20 plus two. 2848. Oh, I could have done that, but in my head, that was okay, right. Okay, so next week, our final week, we are rolling over. I feel really positive about this, guys. Even more good news is that today, I had a no spend. So today's the 29th, absolutely no money came out of my account, no money came out of my cash envelopes, nothing at all. So I can go and add my fourth non-spend. So if we go back to my goals, at the start of the month, we I decided that I wanted to do four no spend days. So one, two, three, four. I have done a zero-based budget as well, so I can go ahead and tick that. And so far, so good with no unbudgeted. I can't imagine me being possessed to make an additional spend anywhere. So I feel like I'm gonna achieve all of my goals this month. So as you can see, I only have one day left of this calendar and I have a week left of my pay period. So the next video that comes out will be a plan with me, a setup of my next monthly layout, which I'm really excited about. So if you'd like to see that, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you get a notification the second I put that up on YouTube. I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. Thank you so much to all the returning subscribers. So far we've got 20 and for me that's an incredible number. I never thought that after four weeks on this platform that I'd have 20 subscribers already, granted. One's a member of family, one's my boyfriend, and two are people that I've known for about 10 years. But still, I'm really, really, like, I'm really pleased and I feel really excited about what the future could be for me on YouTube. Until the next video, guys, thanks so much. Bye.